Bricks Forge version 094 has been released and in this video I want to show you some new features of this version. All details can be found in our changelog. This time the focus was on GSAP animations, which you can use to give your website even more the awesome effect. There is a lot to say, so let the video begin. Let's start with something in the background, panel customizations. In the now draggable panel you can make different settings. For example, you can always leave the bricks panels in the viewport. This is very useful for large screens. You can optionally save the bricks data when saving the bricks forge panel. This saves you one click. In addition, you will now have the option to create your own grid rules for the panel to perfectly align it to your screen. Additionally, there is a different layout for timelines, where the visual timeline is displayed below. When you need to select an element from the builder, you are no longer limited to the structure panel. You can select elements directly from the builder iframe. Bricksford shows you the tag, the ID and the class for the element in the top left corner. The selection of events and event actions is getting completely redesigned. Apart from the fact that we have added a lot of new options, the selections are now displayed in groups. Also, for parts where code input is required, you can now use a code editor. Now you can use GSAP staggers. When you play an animation for a selector, each element is usually animated at the same time. With the stagger function, you can automatically delay the start of an animation by a value. You have the possibility of applying the stagger either to an entire timeline or just to individual animations. You can now use split text for your animations. You can decide into which parts your text should be split and animate the individual parts, for example characters. The possibilities for creating creative text animations are endless here. You can use the typical values for your animations. The animation I create will affect every character in this example. And the result is impressive. Let's briefly talk about a feature that has been around since the last version, but not many people know about yet. GSAP pin. With this it is very easy to pin certain elements for a certain time or pixel value. In this example we want to pin this headline for a thousand pixels in the middle. After that it will detach automatically. In addition we add a simple zoom animation. Very cool. You can now enable the GSAP scroll smoother to add very smooth scrolling to your page. You can adjust the settings for this according to your needs. Since this feature does not allow fixed positioned elements that are inside the scroll container, we have created a feature that allows you to fix this with one click. I personally love how good scrolling feels now. A very useful new feature is GSAP Flip. It allows you to animate between certain values or states or DOM changes that would not be possible with CSS. For example, you could create a CSS class with some new instructions for your element. And with GSAP Flip you can add that class to animate from the current state to the new values. And that's so impressive. Because you can use it to create animations that would otherwise only be possible with complex JavaScript. Here are two examples of how you could use something like this. You could fix an element at a certain scroll position so that it is always showing from now on. Or just change the complete position in the DOM. This can also be animated by flip. We could just push the button to the header when scrolling. That's magic. By the way, you can also use your own code to manipulate your element state and use different variables for it which will be useful for your assignments. What's also very useful is the new conditional logic for your event actions. From now on, you can control when your actions should be executed and when not. You can create different rules for it, 
even the possibility to include your custom JavaScript that returns either true or false. Yeah, these were some new features for the version 094. There is much more. Sets of global classes can now be created without a prefix. You can use gsap snap. There are over 20 new events and over 10 new event actions. Check out the details in the changelog. By the way, if you don't know yet if Bricksforge is something for you, you can create a playground and test the plugin 7 days for free. Thanks for watching, see you next time.